guys, so for today's video, I'm going to be doing just an empties video. I haven't made like an actual video in quite a while other than just vlogs and stuff because I've been waiting for my new camera to come in, which I am filming on today. So I hope the quality is a little bit better. I'm still working with like the settings and lighting and stuff. This is the first video I have filmed using it, so I'm hoping everything goes okay. And so yeah, and sorry if I look at the viewfinder and stuff, I'm used to using the webcam where I can kind of check myself and it's not as obvious. But I have quite a few things to show you guys. I've been saving up empties for quite a few months. It's been a really long time since the last video I did like this. And I thought I didn't have a lot of stuff, but looking at it all laid out now, I have quite a few things. So I'm going to try to kind of hurry through this so it's not too long. Okay, so the first kind of category I have are face wipes and I have literally like a ton. The first one is simple exfoliating facial wipes and I actually really like these but I didn't use them like every day when I had them. I used them kind of when my skin was looking pretty dull and stuff and it would just kind of help exfoliate obviously. And the next ones I have are also by Simple and they're just the regular ones and I like these too but I think the Simple ones are kind of expensive. I don't use face wipes anymore as kind of like a substitute for washing my face. I more use them just to take my makeup off and then I follow up with a regular skincare routine so I have been buying like cheapy ones now. But to finish off what I have, I have some Pons ones and they're the Morning Refresh Citrus and Cucumber ones and I really liked how these smelled but I think they were like exfoliating if I remember and they were kind of rough but I mean sometimes I need that so. And then these ones were Pons Luminous Clean um, wet cleansing towelettes and I used these at night because they're kind of more like relaxing they got a lot of the makeup off and stuff but I think I got them when they were like buy one get one free so that's why I ended up getting those and then this is one of the ones that I've been using more recently and these are by the brand Epili. I have no idea they're like just some generic random brand but they were aloe vera cleansing tissues and these were okay. I like that it had this kind of opening because this is like a lot easier. I have two face masks to show you. And the first one was a sheet mask and this is the face tonic treatment anti-stress. I don't even remember picking this up. It must have been like a really long time ago or something because I don't actually really like sheet masks. I think they're kind of weird. But um, yeah, I, this was a while ago. I don't even remember how well that worked. And then the next one I have was a Freeman's Enzyme Mask, the pineapple one. And I wanted to try this before I picked up the large size. And I'm glad that I did because this wasn't really bad or anything, but it was just kind of weird. I don't know. Most of the Freeman masks are pretty thick and stuff. And this one was kind of just liquidy and it didn't really set or anything, which I know it's not supposed to. But it just, I don't know, felt kind of weird. And I kind of broke out after I used it. Which I'm not sure if it was because of the mask or if it was just my skin. I'm not really sure what happened there. But I don't think I will repurchase the full size just because I'm not sure if it made me break out or not. And then I have a NYX blotting paper thing. This is empty. These were okay. I don't really use blotting papers a lot. I know that's kind of gross. And I should because I do get pretty oily. But I just don't. Like I feel like it's so awkward to like take out a blotting paper and like blot oil off your face. I don't know. So I would only really use these when I like came home and I wanted to like retouch up my makeup. I'd get the oil off first and then I would like repowder and stuff like that. And then I have this package of organic cotton rounds and I liked these a lot actually because they were lint free so when you would get your like eye makeup off you wouldn't get like lint in your eyes. But I couldn't find these when I went, and so I ended up getting, like, the big square ones, which I kind of like better just because there's so much more, like, area on them. Like, they're probably, like, this big. And um, just for face and stuff, it's a lot easier. And then the next things I have are all kind of, like, lotions, and the first two are some Nivea creams. I keep... Oh, I just dropped them. I keep these in my purse usually, so I always just buy the small ones. And I use them a lot more in the summer because I'll be, like... I don't know, just out when my skin is showing more, I guess, and I get really dry skin really easily. So I like to just keep these with me and then put them on my legs and stuff like that. But I was deciding which one I liked better. I like the original one a lot better, but it has just like a top like this, like the lip balms basically. And it kind of would like fall off and stuff, but this one has like a screw cap. The next one is the Walgreens Band Aloe Vera After Sun Body Lotion. And I have gone through so many of these. I buy tons of them. They are always like two for five. And 
I use this for like everything. When I used to go tanning, I would put it on after I'd go tanning. I use this like in the summer after I'm in the sun all day. And I use this as a shave gel, which is kind of random, but it's the only kind of thing that doesn't irritate my skin after I shave it. So I usually use this while I'm shaving. Like I keep one in my shower. And then when I come out of the shower, I put this on and it doesn't irritate my skin. It says it's a skin protectant with collagen and vitamins A, B, D, and E. And I'm just obsessed with this. I It smells kind of weird. It's not like a bad smell, but I don't know. It says it also has tea tree oil in it, which is for something. I can't remember. But I'm obsessed with this lotion. I've used it for years. And yeah, I also have like the regular aloe, but I mean this is the only thing that I use like year round. I also have two hair products to show you, but they are both dry shampoos. The first is the Dove Refresh and Care Invigorating Dry Shampoo, and I actually really, really like this one. It's very, very dusty and powdery, but that is the kind of dry shampoo that I like because I feel like that is the kind that works the absolute best. I mean, the powder is what absorbs the oil, so I hate dry shampoos that have like liquid in them because it just kind of makes everything cakey and gross. And for being such a powdery dry shampoo, this one didn't dry my scalp out as much as the Suave one does, so I really liked that about it. And I'm definitely going to repurchase this one. If you guys have been watching me for a long time, then you know I've been talking about doing a dry shampoo video for months and months, and honestly, I just don't really use dry shampoo that much very often because it dries my scalp out so much, and it's so hard to get it back to normal, so... I have kind of trained my hair to be okay with being not washed for as long. So if you guys want to see a video about the dry shampoos that I do like and how I kind of keep my hair to not need dry shampoo as often, then I can do that and kind of change the format of the video because, I mean, I could still do a video all about dry shampoo, but honestly, it's just not my favorite category of an item anymore because it is so bad for my scalp. I don't know if everyone has that problem, but for me, it's really bad like chunks of my scalp will like flake off and it's disgusting but anyways I also finished up this Batiste mini one I really really like Batiste dry shampoo too but I really didn't like the smell this is the blush one so I'm gonna pick up a different smell because this was I think one of my favorites I don't know they kinda all work the same if you don't get like a crappy one honestly and then I have a couple like beauty tools to show you guys I don't really know what else you would call them the first is just this little buffer block. This is the polar block. I get these at Sally Hansen. They're my favorite ones. I kind of just like them because they're white and they're like on all sides. Some of them, it's only on two sides. And I use this to file my nails and to buff like the tops of them. I don't like to use a really strong um, nail file on the tips of my nails because then they seem like they break more often so I have always been using these. The next thing is an eyelash curler and I guess you can't really use up an eyelash curler but what happened is like this. I don't know if you guys will be able to see this but this like cracked. I went to curl my lashes one time and it pinched so bad and I was like what the heck and I looked at it and it had this huge crack in it so this is junk now. This was a Sony Kashuk one too so that kind of sucks because it was like 10 bucks but whatever. And then the last thing is my old little pretend beauty blender. It is super dirty even though I've washed it so many times. It's just stained. And the middle is like starting to rip, which you can't really tell unless it's like um, filled with water and like all fluffy. But it is ready to go. And I got those new ones off eBay, which you guys saw, I think, in a vlog if you watched it. And I saved makeup products for last because I figure like makeup is the most interesting. So the first thing I completely used up is this L'Oreal Loose Powder, the translucide powder that you guys have heard me talk about a million times by now. And I completely used this up. I had to like take off the little sifter thing and everything because it was completely gone. So I wanted to use the last little bit of it and I have repurchased this already. The next thing I used up is a concealer and it is the Rimmel London Match Perfection concealer and I have a second one of these that I'm going through but I don't like them as much as I did when I first got them. I've been noticing that it kind of dries my under eyes out and it doesn't crease or anything which I really like but the coverage just isn't really there so I really want to invest in more of like a high-end concealer and I'm thinking about one of the benefit ones. So if you guys have the same problem as me where your under eye area crease is really bad then let me know what concealer you like because I really could use 
some recommendations because I also used the Instant Age Orion Eraser Dark Circle thing and this was okay. It had better coverage, I think, but I don't know. It just wasn't as good as it should have been. It's the same problem as the other one. It just... It worked, but it wasn't as good a coverage because both of them are kind of like a lightweight concealer. More in the winter, they kind of both worked pretty good for me, but since I'm starting to get allergies and stuff, the purple is kind of showing through. And the last thing I have used up is a CoverGirl mascara. This is like the classic one. This is waterproof. And I haven't repurchased one of these yet, but I really want to because... I used to use this alone, and right now I'm using three mascaras. Okay, guys, well, that is everything that I have used up. I'm sorry if I was looking at the viewfinder. It's really weird adjusting to a new camera. Plus, I keep looking over because there's, like, things blinking and stuff, and I'm trying to make sure that it's not, like, shutting off or something like that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I miss doing videos like this, so I'm so glad to have this new camera. And if you guys have any questions about it, I will probably try to leave stuff below. It's just a Sony Handycam, so yeah, I don't know if the quality is going to be that much better than the webcam. I'm really hoping it is. The light is really bad today because it's like stormy out and stuff, but I really wanted to do a video, so yeah. I will talk to you guys later, and thank you so much for watching. Bye!